Hello, teacher tribe. Welcome back to another brand spanking new week. So for those who are new, my name is Allison Jones. I'm a second grade teacher in Treasure Coast, Florida. For those who are returning, thank you for being a part of the teacher tribe. Today is Monday, April 4th, and it's dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to always take a breath. We need that moment to breathe, decompress and process the day. Or if you're just having one of those days where you need to woosa, take a deep breath. Okay, today, honest and truly, was a normal Monday. There wasn't anything special about today. I feel like I'm baking because I am in a sweater and I just came from car duty. <sighs> I'm about to go home. It's okay. So today we had, it was unit eight, week two, day three. So we're in the middle of the unit and we are doing suffixes with er and or at the end of the word so we read a little story today or it was more of an interview um called mudslide on page 17 and then for whole group we had to identify the central idea of the story which is earth's changes and then we went over proper nouns both in the story and then of course i had to incorporate a kahoot and we went over proper and common nouns um, for writing today, they continued working, or should I say they started working on their essay. So we've been doing research for the first half of the unit. So now they're putting their essay together. For content, we um, discovered and talked about blizzards. So we were on discover, discovery education or discover education. I'm not sure what the website is called. But on that website, we found a video for blizzards. So one um, was a 10 minute I guess you could say an interview where these three men got caught in a blizzard when they were hiking and they were giving talking about their experience and how one of the guys lost his gloves and he had frostbite frostbite to the point where he lost nine of his ten fingers so he has he's literally like nubs he has both of his thumbs though now that i think of it maybe he, had, he lost a piece of the thumb because i did see he had thumbs but he had nubs for fingers so he's, he's lucky he had all his hands left. It was a really incredible story. It was about 10 minutes long. And then the second video my team lead found was also on Discover Education, but it was the longer version. So it had that same interview that we watched plus other interviews. So we didn't get a chance to kind of watch everything, but we kind of skipped through and were listening to other people's stories when they got stuck in blizzards. And one of the guy talked about how him and his wife once hiked up a mountain, everything was fine trying to hike back down to go home and a blizzard hit and his wife unfortunately froze to death like she got stuck in the blizzard i think they were in that blizzard for about 36 hours and she unfortunately froze and she died it was something that we talked about even though thankfully in florida we don't have to deal with that but it really opened the kids eyes like they had so many questions about frostbite and um the kids a few of them got so sad when they heard that the lady died it was it was it was it very informative informative i was very shocked actually watching that myself so it was very interesting unfortunate but it was very interesting and then we finished our i ready lesson on time for lesson 24. so tomorrow we're going to do our last go math lesson for time we have a few worksheets that we're going to do wednesday thursday is the review and then friday is our unit test for math so we're almost done learning about time. And then next Monday, we're going to start learning about money. Show me the money. That was it. It was a very normal, regular, schmegular day. Tomorrow now is day four. For phonics, we're going to go over our worksheet that we normally do on day four. Um, we're going to do our blueprint and our culminating task, as well as identifying author's purpose for that short story, for the first extended read, not short, short read, extended read. Um, where they should be adding their conclusion for their essay, even though technically they just started. They're supposed to be wrapping up their essay because during week three is when they're supposed to be doing their revising period. Um, tomorrow, we're going back to brain power. We're learning about earthquakes tomorrow. And then, like I said, we're doing go math lesson tomorrow for math. And I have their homework for math already ready. You know, guys, I like to have everything in advance. I already printed out stuff for the rest of the week, but I left it in my mailbox, so I'll pick it up tomorrow. <sighs> so I'm like one with work. 
there's nothing for me to really do i'm all caught up on things so yeah oh i wanted to tell you we're starting to work on our student treasures book which actually i'm glad i'm remembering because now i can leave myself a note to bring my book tomorrow so student treasures is a company that allows the students to publish their work so as a class we put together a book we pick a topic um have them writing and they get to put a book together like literally you're making a book my last time i did this pre-covid our class did a book called someday and we talked about what they wanted to be when they grow up so um it was called someday dot 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 and then they all started their essay with someday so someday dot 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 i want to be a teacher someday i want to be a police officer and so on and so forth so that's how all of them did it so they literally did a when i grow up book we just called it someday um yeah i have to remember to bring my book tomorrow so i can show my kiddos how it looks when it's all put together this year we decided or they voted on doing like a self-reflection poem so when we're looking at all the examples they all voted and agreed that the self-reflection is the best so it's more of an I am poem. So the poem is titled their name. So every line starts with I. So I am eight years old. I, I wrote it on the board. I am blank years old. I feel, they finished the sentence. I notice, uh, I want to be, I wonder how, I worry about, I pretend, I remember, I know, I believe, I dream, I hope. And then the last line is I am and then their name. So it is one, two, three, 14 lines all together for their poem. So we started talking about that today. That's how we decided to structure. So it's more of a, they're gonna be talking about things they noticed in second grade, how they felt overall in the year. Was it a good year? Was it a great year? Was it a fabulous year? Whatever adjective that they can think of or whatever descriptive word they can think of to describe the year in its whole. Um, so yeah, this is more of a second grade wrap up type of poem. And then they're gonna dedicate it to their future selves. So I love that they voted to do that. So I'm going to show them what my two years ago class did, if I can, Remember, hopefully when I get home, I can put it straight in my bag. So I'm gonna have that for next year, for next year. Oh my God, my mind, for tomorrow. So I could show them. So when we when the box comes for student treasures, we can just get it done. So we're starting to write it from now. The box should be here hopefully by the end of the week. And then we'll have about two weeks to actually put it all together. So I can mail it back so it can be here before the end of the school year. So fingers crossed we can get it done in time. All right, teacher tribe, as our, we're going in the story or in putting the book together, I'll definitely update you. And then if there's a share link, maybe I can put my share link in the description box below. So I'll get back to you on that. All right, teacher tribe, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Happy T Tuesday, teacher tribe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it is dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So today is Tuesday, April 5th, and it's dismissal time. Oh, my words got really jumbled up there. So many things going on. I am currently prepping our review because we have our math unit test on Friday the 8th. So um, the review is going to happen Thursday. Thankfully, my I reminded my our team lead to get everything printed and stuff in advance. So I have the review. So I'm stapling it and getting it ready so I can put it in my drawers for Thursday. <sighs> so thinking of all of that stuff, make sure I'm putting the papers in the right, for the right day, I'm all jumbled up. Anywho, today went really good. I had all 22 kiddos here today. I've had all 22 kiddos for the last few days, which is extremely shocking because there's always one or two out for some reason. My friend who has been missing school a lot because apparently he moved and he moved to a different county. So our county is pretty small. So the county next door is not even 30 minutes away. So apparently that's where he moved to, but 
some miscommunication about why he can't change schools. It's the last quarter. We're technically still at the beginning. According to mom, the new school said not to do it because it's so late in the year. If it's a public school, they don't have a choice. Like you transfer your child. There's still people starting at the school year now. Like that's the, ugh. it's none of my business. He's been showing up thankfully a little late, but he's been still showing up. So beggars can't be choosers. I guess I'd have to say there. Um, but everyone has been here, which is fabulous for me doing anything pertaining to graded work because everyone is here. I can grade everything at one shot, get it graded. So I love that. Um, our student treasures book should be here tomorrow. And I remembered to bring in my student treasures book from the years past. So we titled it Someday. And then I'll cover up my school name. <laughs> but there is the date so we did this for my 2018 2019 second grade class so this is super exciting i got to flip through it and see all of my kiddos from that class and it was a lot of fun um i don't want to show the table of contents because that has all of their names on there but um here i can do this so i made a table of contents there and I put what page they're on and I intend to do that again. And then on this side here is a little note explaining to the parents that um, in their essays, nothing was corrected. All I did was read through it, make sure it made sense. But spelling, capitalization, punctuation, punctuation, and a few smudges, it's all their work. They edited it. They Once they finished their draft and they were comfortable with it and I read it to make sure it made sense, they transferred everything on. I did allow them to use their computers the, um, the last time we did this so they can spell check on their own. But if they didn't spell check it, it was misspelled. It still went into the book. So um, I had a little note ex warning parents <laughs> that all of that is purposely done because I didn't correct anything. And then you have their work here. So you see there what they want to do. So they drew a picture and they said, someday I want to be so on, so on, so. So... It was, it was fun to read through it and have my little refresher of who these kiddos are. These babies are now in fifth grade. My babies are no longer babies. So uh, looking back on the date and thinking like, wow, these, my second graders are fifth graders. Like they're going to middle school. Like that is wild. That is so wild. I love it, but it's so wild. And then at the end... I wrote a little letter to them and then I put a poem for that I found called what will I, what will you be so since they're writing a book on what they want to be when they grow up I had a little poem in there and then my letter to my second graders I'll probably use this letter again or similar a similar letter for this school for this group of kiddos and then I have some pictures which I'm not going to show that I took throughout the school year and then at the end I had them all sign for the meet the author so everyone who was approved to be in the book so I want to say there were two or three students whose parents did not sign the permission slip so I couldn't edit or I couldn't um, submit their work so but yes I got I checked um, when this box will be delivered and when I checked it this morning um, it was scheduled to be delivered to the school tomorrow. So fingers crossed it does get here during the school day so I can pass it out to the teachers and we can get started working on it, even though technically my class already started working on it. But, you know, we can actually start putting it all together. So we've done a lot of planning and talking, but we can actually start the execution of getting it all together, submitting the permission slips to the parents, um, having them bring it back, having whoever wants to order it, order it. If I get at least one kid to buy it, then I get a copy of their book too. So I get a copy for free if at least one kid makes the purchase. So fingers crossed they do. So that was my excitement for the day. Looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We have our weekly test. It's day five for week two. So we'll have our weekly test. And then they will have a little bit of compare and contrast for um two stories that we read so far in the unit for horizons we're going to continue talking about digraphs for their oh nope we're not writing day five is always grammar so they have a grammar worksheet 
For content, they are going to learn about tsunamis. And then for math, we're doing math worksheets, which hopefully my team lead is printing out now because I reminded her to do that. So yes, I got our math review for Thursday, but we don't have what we need for tomorrow. So she's supposed to be getting that done now so I can have that in the morning for tomorrow. So that's all folks. That's all I have to tell you. FSA started today. So that was another thing I forgot to mention. Of course, we don't get tested and it's the last year for FSA. So third grade started testing today. They were writing, so they don't have like the reading and math yet. It's their writing FSA that they had today. So it has begun. And then during FSA, so in the morning time, we're pretty much at a standstill. So resource came to us, which is very unfortunate because we had nowhere to go for our meeting. So myself and my teacher partner were in our little storage room in between our classes. So we, we sat in there. So the whole time my kids were just watching me like I'm snacking, I'm in my meeting. They're just watching me waving like they haven't seen me before. It was the cutest thing, but you got annoying after a while. They just kept waving like guys focus on media. Anywho, it's going to be like that again tomorrow. And it's going to be like that again Thursday. And then it's a break for about a week or two. And then testing begins again. So we shall see what happens. I wish them all luck. I hope they all do great. I'm sure they will do great for third, fourth, and fifth grade. And yeah, that's all, folks. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, Teacher Tribe. Hi, Teacher Tribe. Happy hump day. Today is Wednesday, April 6th, and it is dismissal time. Remember to take a breath. As you can see by the shininess of my forehead, it is hot outside. Specifically, it's humid because it was raining right before dismissal. So it's very sticky. Anywho, <laughs> tomorrow, well, let's start with today. I'm rushing because I'm so excited to get out of here. Um, tomorrow, today, I need to woosaw. Today went well. Um, we finally got our packets for student treasures. <laughs> Yay, woohoo! So I passed out, well, I went through mine, I passed out my next door neighbors. So our other three classes that are in the portables, I'm gonna put their packets um, in their mailboxes on the way out. Then I was invited, oh my gosh, it was such an honor. So they're doing the, they're redoing the district promos for each school. And they're redoing our school on Monday. And I was asked to be one of the classes that represents the school which means the cameras are gonna come into my classroom while I'm teaching and they're just gonna pretty much record to show off Floresta. So I already made up my mind with my kiddos, we're gonna teach math because on Monday when they come, we're gonna start learning about money. So I already got my supplies out, I got all the fake coins and everything ready for the kiddos. The moment we got the email, we started talking about it, I went and took it all out, even though it's not till Monday and today's Wednesday. But I'm so excited, like, it's such an honor. So I'm one of the classes that's going to be clipped, I guess you can say. They're gonna come in, kind of do it like a mini, you know, recording in my classroom and everything. I'm so excited. It's such an honor, but so excited. So that happened towards the end of the day. So that happening, and then we received our treasure, our student treasure, so we can start working on our book. It was just an awesome ending to a really decent day. So that was exciting. We talked about what we're going to do. And then towards the end of the day, we had so much, we had about 45 minutes. We finished everything early. So um, I let them do some partner up activities with Go Noodle. And then we tried to play Four Corners at the end of the day since we were all in such a good mood, but then we ran out of time. So it was okay. Tomorrow for homework, because tomorrow's their math review for time, uh, I found a time worksheet. I don't like the fact that there's this black line there. And the only reason it's really there is because somebody else had it. And when I say they they had it, it was just a worksheet that they left in the workroom, the copy room. And I was like, oh, I can use this. And I literally made copies for my whole team of this worksheet. Um, all they have to do, so I can't give you this resource, unfortunately, um, Teacher Tribe. I don't know where this resource is coming from. They have to fill in the clock the inside and outside of the clock. So the outside is the minutes, the inside is the clock face. And then they have to fill in or tell what time that is. 
Funny thing is, it's all o'clock, so it's going to be super duper easy for them. They should fly through it. Then during reading time, it is day one of week three. So we have our last vocabulary chart. That's literally all we're doing in reading tomorrow. So tomorrow should be an easy day. During horizons, they're doing more digraphs, so they have to fill in if it's a th, sh, or ch word here, all of these have ck, they have to figure out which sh, wh, ch, and then all of these have ch, but at the ends of the word. So this should be super easy. We're doing this for horizons tomorrow, horizons phonics. And then for math, we have the math test review that we're going to do as a class. Normally for the review, I have them take the review as if it were the test. And then when everyone is complete, we'll go over it with the answer so they can take it home and study it for the test, which is going to be on Friday. Tomorrow's going to be a pretty easy day. Now that I'm looking at all of this and then during content, we're still doing brain pop. We're going to do volcanoes tomorrow. So that should be fun. And then they're going to continue working on their essay with their research that they've been doing. Yeah, it's like now that we're nearing the end of the year, like everything just seems so simple and easy. You know, we've been dealing with all of this for the whole school year. Now that it's actually like coming towards the end, we're familiar with it. We know what to expect. We know what we're doing. So, yes, that is what we're doing tomorrow. Today went well. And that's all, folks. I gotta go and get my nails did. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, Teacher Tribe. Hi, Teacher Tribe. Happy Thursday. It is Friday Eve and it's dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So today, is, oh, today is March 7th. I forgot to say that. Yes, Friday Eve, March 7th. April. Oh my God, April 7th. <laughs> Friday Eve, April 7th. Oh my goodness. All right, today was a pretty interesting day. And I say interesting because this morning I was asked again to house another fourth grader. Not all that sure why, given that today was FSA testing for fourth and fifth grade writing. I don't, I guess he just didn't take the test. I'm, I, I don't know. I didn't ask questions, to be honest with you. They asked if I could house them during, during testing. I said yes. So he was in my room during testing. He didn't give me any, any issues. It wasn't our same friend that was in here before, another child. He did pretty good. He sat there, he did his work. He asked me a few questions when he got stumped on his work and that was it. So I like when they do what they need to do. It makes me doing the school a favor easier on me when they're doing what they need to do. So, hey, my kiddos were pretty good today. We finished everything we needed to do. So at the end of the day, during teacher-led teacher-led PE where it's like more of a wind down time. We played heads up seven up and we, pay, we played four corners. So it just brought me back to my childhood when I used to play those indoor games during when, it's, when the weather was bad outside. So it was a lot of fun being the moderator instead of playing with my co-classmates or whatever you wanna say. What else do I need to tell you? I got a lot of forms back for our books. Oops, upside down. So money form is get, is coming along and I have our permission slips and my kiddos decided not to have them go in number order like we do everything else in class in our book. So everyone is going to be random. So I'm going to start putting together, I'll probably do it tomorrow while they're taking their test. So I'm going to start putting together the names for the table of contents so every child knows what page in the book is theirs. So they voted that I don't go in order. As everyone's turning in the permission slip, I'll just add them to the table of contents. So I was like, all right, that's how you want to do it. It's your book. That's fine. So I have seven kids today out of my 21 because our friend that I'm always complaining to you all about decides he doesn't want to do it. I said, that's fine. Well, you're still going to do it, but you don't have to do it for the book, but you're going to do it because it's, I'm using it as a poem grade. So you're doing your self-reflection poem. So out of my 22, 21 would like to be in the book. So I'm waiting on 21 permission slips. Can't force him to do something he doesn't want to do. Um, but yeah, out of those 21, I got seven. Four out of the seven are buying the book. So that was super exciting. And I showed them the examples. I had an example from previous years 
And they sent an example, funny enough, one of the examples that we were looking at, we were even considering this theme, and they sent the actual book for it. So that was super exciting. So now I have two books I can use as examples. Uh, I don't really have anything interesting to tell you guys today, to be real. Tomorrow, report cards go home. So I have the report cards here. Um, tomorrow, we're doing our interactive text because it's day two of week three. Then I have our last, um, what is this thing called? Horizons paper for tomorrow. And then they have their math unit test on time tomorrow. We did their review today. So on my way out, I'm going to print out their Scantron. So that's ready for them tomorrow. That's it. It was a pretty light day today. So, yep. I won't hold you all any longer. I'll see you tomorrow for Fun Friday. Bye, Teacher Tribe. Oh, I didn't show you my nails. Ooh. I know you guys don't care, but my kiddos noticed it. <laughs> Bye, Teacher Tribe. Hi, Teacher Tribe. Happy Friday. <sighs> I know I didn't say it yet, but I needed to do it. So today was Friday, or is Friday, April 8th, and it's dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So first and foremost, Florida is hot as hell. And being outside, yelling at kids, listen to your names, and I'm screaming everyone's names because they're so chatty today, and the report cards went home. So you have all the older kids with their report cards out, looking at their report cards, talking about their report cards to the point where they're talking over the speakers. So I have to yell, listen for your names. Oh my gosh. Anywho, dismissal was hectic, okay? Oh, so I'm all sweaty as per usual when I do this for after school. Um, today was a great day. It was fun Friday. We got to finish our um, unit, uh, unit assessment which I have to go and scan on my way out. But honest and truly, I have nothing special to share with you today. We didn't do anything out of the ordinary, except at the end of the day, instead of doing um, getting on the computer, we played some Four Corners in our classroom. They like doing those games, so I love that they wanted to do that. You know, they get to run around the room, and it was fun, it's simple. So once everything was packed up, the last 20, it was about 20 minutes. The last 20 minutes of the day, we played four corners. So it was fun. I love how competitive my kiddos are. I always get the real competitive ones, but that's just my luck. I'm so competitive. My kiddos are competitive, but the, our school didn't do field day. I don't know if that's a district thing or because of COVID. I have no idea, but there's a lot of things we didn't do this year. We didn't have field trips now that I think of it. We didn't have field day. All that stuff by now would have been done if I was at my old school, but I'm not at my old school. So we're gonna leave that alone. But today was good. I got some more forms for their student book. So they know their homework this weekend is to make sure they bring in their forms because all of them want to do it. Our friend changed his mind and decided to turn in the form, which he forgot to take home. So I just put it on his desk. But yeah, there's nothing really I'm trying to look around the room see if what we didn't really do anything special besides the fact that we did our unit test so i guess today is a very short video or a short snippet i still don't think yeah i'm about to do my planner now for next week and then on the way out scan the scantrons like i said and i'm out so i'm gonna wrap up this video here oh and i'm gonna show you our video our picture that we took at the end of the day we haven't done that in a while so i'll put that in at the end of the video and yeah teacher tribe like comment and subscribe let me know if there's anything you want me to show more of or if there's anything that you specifically want to see and i'll see you all in the next video bye teacher tribe